friends, this video on kinetic theory part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Molecular nature of matter Behavior of gases Kinetic theory of an ideal gas Law of equipartition of energy specific heat capacity and mean free path. So let us start with the introduction. What is kinetic theory? So basically what are we going to study in this lesson? That is the question, right? That what is kinetic theory all about? Kinetic theory explains the behavior of gases based on the idea that the gas consists of rapidly moving atoms or molecules. So basically, kinetic theory was a theory given by obviously some scientists to explain the behavior of gases. How do gases behave? Now this entire theory is based on the idea that gas consists of rapidly moving atoms or molecules. So what do I mean to say or what do I try to interpret when I say that gas consists of rapidly moving atoms or molecules. If you think in your primary classes you would have studied that in case of solids the molecules are very close to each other, somewhat like this, right? Where you see now each of these balls represent molecules. So the molecules are very closely spaced. Whereas in case of liquids, the intermolecular distance increases. That, that is, the molecules are a bit far apart when compared to solids. Whereas in case of gases, the molecules are even more far away from each other. So what does this show? This shows that in case of a gas, the molecules are more free to move about because there is nobody to stop this molecule from moving. So these molecules and gases can move about more freely. So what we can say that, we can say that these molecules are moving. They are free to move around. So this basic idea gave this thought or we can assume that gas consists of rapidly moving atoms or molecules. Now with this assumption in mind or with this basis came the kinetic theory which explained the behavior of gases. So what all things did kinetic theory talk about? We will come to know as we go ahead with this lesson. Now what made kinetic theory a success? Right? Why did this theory prove itself true? First, it gave a molecular interpretation of pressure and temperature. Till now, pressure and temperature were nothing but parameter of measurement that is they were just used as parameters to measure to measure a quantity but this kinetic theory gave a molecular interpretation to these two terms that is pressure and temperature how that we will come to know as we derive the expression for pressure and temperature based on kinetic theory consistent with gas laws and Avogadro's hypothesis. This theory, whatever this theory spoke about, everything matched with whatever was told by the gas laws. Gas laws basically are the Boyle's law, Charles law, Gay-Lussac's law, they are all the gas law, they all come under gas laws and also Avogadro's hypothesis. Don't worry, I'm sure you would have studied about these gas laws and Avogadro's hypothesis in your previous classes but even if you have forgotten them don't worry as we go ahead I'll discuss them as well. It correctly explains specific heat capacities of many gases. 
Now, once this theory came into picture, on the basis of this kinetic theory, specific heat capacity was calculated for many gases and it was found that the calculated value matched quite closely to the true value or the experimental value. So see, because of so many reasons, so or rather so many valid reasons, this kinetic theory was finally accepted as a successful theory. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.